not a full screen. Okay. Ah, yes. No, no, that's so, it's not a full screen. Time for next talk. Right. Full screen. Gideon Ivanova. And the title is elliptic differential difference equations with in in common commensurable commensurable shift of arguments. It's not good. No, it's good, good. Okay, it's not the, the whole screen, but no. No. Now uh, I want to thank uh, the organizing committee for their. Uh, hard work and for the opportunity for me to take part in this conference. Uh, I consider the uh, elliptic differential difference equation, equations with incommensurable sheets argument. Uh, we consider the boundary value problem one, two. One is uh, equation. Is equation with uh, difference operator R, I, J. And uh, we consider the homogeneous uh, conditions to uh, zero uh, outside the uh, domain Q because we have a difference operator in uh, equation one. Uh, different operators are, are as follows, are as follows, and uh, uh, in this, uh, the uh, set M is a finite set of vectors with incommensurable coordinates. Uh, in this sense, uh, these uh, shifts are linearly independent with the integer coefficients. Uh, by solution, we understand a general solution from the Sobolev space in, uh, uh, in the uh, usual sense. And uh, we name uh, the equation, uh, equation one, stronger elliptic in uh, uh, Q bar if the inequality, uh, Gordon inequality, are whole. It's whole. Uh, some uh, words about history. Uh, the theory of such boundary value problems uh, with integer shifts of argument or uh, commensurable shifts of argument. Uh, was constructed in uh, the work uh, by Alexander Leonidovich Tubachevsky. It's uh, his uh, monograph, his book, 1997. Uh, we consider the incommensurable, incommensurable sheets. Uh, the problem, the investigation of such a problem is more complicated is more complicated uh, at first. This uh, solution uh, can be, uh, can have everywhere dense set of points of discontinuity of the derivative. And uh, uh, this is more difficult to, uh, to uh, formulate the conditions of strong ellipticity for such an operator with incommensurable sheets. Uh, and uh, uh, remark that even small uh, perturbation of sheets may violate this, their uh, commensurability. And uh, uh, the known conditions of ellipticity uh, are unstable relative to these sheets. Uh, the uh, first investigation uh, of uniform strong ellipticity condition for uh, functional differential equations uh, belongs to Leonid Rasovsky. Leonid Rasovsky. Uh, 
and uh, our work is uh, devoted to finding a condition of strong electricity for uh, differential difference equations with incommensurable argument sheets. Uh, and we consider two cases. The first case is similar to the previous work, is it the case of finite uh, orbit of the boundary. And the second more complicated case is uh, the case of infinite uh, orbit. And we obtain strong elliptic condition, stable uh, with respect to small perturbation of arguments sheets. Uh, at first, uh, what we mean uh, the orbit. Uh, M is the set of given sheets. M, the set of given sheets, we introduced the sets. S0 is the boundary of U. S1 is the union of sheets of S0 intersected uh, with the U bar and so on, sk, sk plus one, and uh, we do know uh, s, the union of all these uh, shifts, of all these sets, and we name it the boundary orbit. And uh, in uh, the case when uh, c equals c sub n, is the case with the finite orbit S. And uh, if we have the finitely many distinct, distinct sets SK, then the orbit S is infinite and uh, might even be dense in U. Uh, now we can uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Elen, uh, the previous slide, uh, please. Uh, do you mean infinitely many distinct sets? Infinitely many, yes. Uh, yeah, it, it is written finitely many. Yeah, it's uh, misprinted. Uh, yeah. Infinitely many, yes. Uh, okay. Infinitely, yes, yes. I'm sorry, infinitely. Uh, and uh, we need the regular decomposition. We need the regular decomposition of the given domain Q. Uh, we, uh, for given operator R, difference operator, we build the regular decomposition into subdomains QR such that the union of uh, QR equals uh, Q bar and for every subdomains and uh, sheets, there either exist Q R two such that uh, Q R two equals uh, the sheets of Q R one or Q R one plus H is uh, outside the domain Q, and the set of all uh, components of the set G, G is a U bar minus the orbit, is a regular decomposition of the domain U. Uh, now we can uh, consider the classes of such as subdomains and remark that unlike the method of uh, uh, Kubachevsky, this decomposition use no additive groups because our uh, sheets uh, are incommensurable. But uh, in the case of finite uh, uh, orbit, we can obtain the similar results for solvability and smoothness of uh, our boundary value problem. And uh, let's... Uh, consider the theorem one and assume uh, that equation is strongly elliptic and the orbit is finite. Then uh, for any function uh, problem has a unique solution, 
in the solar space and uh, this solution is moves in uh, the subdomains. Uh, consider, for example, uh, example one, uh, the boundary value problem three, four, with the operator R and uh, Q is a rectangular and we see that operator R has two sheets. Here, the parameter epsilon is a small uh, irrational, uh, and we see two sheets, uh, one plus epsilon and one. These sheets are incommensurable. And uh, for given epsilon, uh, there exists uh, integer n such that n by epsilon uh, less than one and n plus one epsilon uh, greater than one. And uh, uh, we see that uh, the orbit is finite. As the orbit is finite, and uh, we can apply the decomposition, the regular decomposition of this uh, of this domain, and we obtain the uh, two classes of subdomains. You see the subdomains on the slide, and uh, the action of the operator R is associated with multiplication by a matrix. By a matrix, uh, for example, I uh, write this matrix for the case when n equals two. This is a matrix and its matrix uh, uh, is five diagonals. Uh, and uh, to investigate the strong ellipticity of a given uh, difference operator, uh, differential difference operator, we can uh, easy to apply the investigation of positive definition of uh, this matrix. And if this matrix is positive defined, this uh, for any function, the boundary value problem has a unique solution, and this solution is smooth in all subdomains. And remark that if the parameter epsilon in the difference operator is less than zero, then the orbit of the uh, boundary is infinite, and it's it's impossible to obtain the regular decomposition. And what we do in this case, when the orbit is uh, infinite, we consider the case when the operator R is a sum of two operators. And for each uh, of these operators, uh, the orbit S is finite. But for union of these uh, sets, the orbit is infinite. Uh, we introduce this operator to, to account the boundary conditions. And uh, we consider at first only the first operator. The first operator R1 and reduce uh, uh, its action to multiplication uh, by the matrix. Uh, a h is the coefficients uh, from the difference operator. And we, we find the uh, least eigenvalue of uh, the all matrices and uh, introduce the check operator A r to the c. Uh, defined by the formula i to the c equals r2 plus lambda minimum uh, multiplied by identity operator. And we see that uh, and operator r1 and rc uh, separately is the uh, operator with uh, the finite, uh, the finite uh, orbit. 
And if the check operator is positive defined, then the given operator is also positive defined. And in this case, we uh, can formulate the theorem uh, if the operator, uh, the check operator RC uh, positive defined, then uh, equation six is a strong elliptic and boundary value problem has a unique solution. Let's consider the example for this, uh, for this case. Uh, R is the sum of two operators, and we separate uh, operator R on two. The first operator with a rational shift, and second with a uh, shift one. And uh, at first, we consider only operator uh, R1. Uh, we can decompose Q on the subdomains and reduce uh, reduce the uh, action of the operator R1 to the multiplication on the matrix A. Uh, we can find its minimal eigenvalue and uh, Consider now the check operator, minimal eigenvalue of all matrices is lambda minimum uh, minus square root of two multiplied by absolute value of A uh, tau. And we can obtain the check operator RC with only one shift, with only one shift, and with these coefficients A zero tilde. And uh, we consider this operator, A, C, and uh, consider its uh, action, uh, the, its action reduced to the multiplication on this matrix. And this operator is positively defined if and only if uh, this inequality uh, for A inequality A. Uh, and if A is satisfied, then by theorem two, uh, the given equation is uniformly relatively to the shift tau, strongly elliptic, and there exists a unique solution. Uh, under this condition, condition A, we can turn to the limits, to the limits. If we consider the uh, boundary value problem when tau equals one and obtain the limit, the limit problem with only one sheet, we can uh, prove that uh, the solution of a given problem tends to the uh, solution of the limit problem in the norm of the space, uh, Sobolev space. Uh, now we can formulate uh, the more common uh, case, uh, boundary value problem one, two, with uh, different operators, uh, and uh, obtain the sufficient condition of strong ellipticity. Uh, the matrix matrices of Ks is a matrix that corresponds correspond to the first class of operator. And another matrices correspond to the second operator, second class of operator. And uh, if for some vector K, uh, all the matrices uh, for all uh, Xi are non-negative defined and the matrices uh, K alpha are uh, positive defined, uh, then equation one is uh, strongly elliptic in uh, uh, closure of uh, view. And in this case, there exists a unique solution of boundary value problem. Uh, one minute. Uh, it's yes, this is uh, <laughs> any, any bibliography. 
And yeah. thank you for your attention. Thank you. Okay, questions? Uh, excuse me, am I right that uh, when you say uh, incommensurable uh, shifts, you mean that at least uh, one coordinate, uh, one coordinate of all shifts uh, uh, are incommensurable? Uh, linearly independent system with uh, integer constant. Maybe one or maybe not, not one. Uh, no. Really independent with uh, the coefficient, uh, with the integer coefficients. Ah, no, okay. So it is, it is another formulation. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yes. if there are no more questions, so thank you very much for your talk. And uh, thank you all speakers for this morning session.